Hey everybody, John Peterson from John Peterson Photo. I'm here with another quick Luminar 3 tip for you. And today I want to talk about layers, the layer functionality in Luminar. You know, it wasn't that long ago that Photoshop was the only game in town that you could uh, use layers, layer masks, that type of stuff, and build up all of your edits. Uh, but over the last couple of years, more and more pieces of software give you that layering ability. And Luminar has a great, powerful tool <coughs> excuse me, to, to work with layers for your image adjustments. So this is a really powerful tool. There's a lot of stuff to cover. I won't get into um, all of it here in this video. I just kind of want to give you a brief introduction on how to use it. So when you're in the develop area in the editing area of Luminar. Um, first thing I want to point out is this little button up here. It sort of hides and shows your layer palette that's right here. And so if you want to uh, add a new adjustment layer, add a new layer to your tool, just click the plus button. And it'll ask you if you want to add a new adjustment layer or a new image layer. In this case, I just want to build up numerous adjustments. So I want to add a new adjustment layer and I want to work on the sky and so I know that the AI sky enhancer is in this quick and awesome uh, filter set so uh, let me just do that I'll make a sky adjustment boom there we go um, if you want to toggle a layer on and off there's the little eyeball here there's off and there's on there you go now let's say I want to work on the shadows in these rocks I want to add another adjustment layer and what I want to do is paint on the area that I want adjusted. So what I'll do is I will grab my brush and uh, use the bracket keys to adjust the size of the brush. Do, 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 do. And I'll paint the area that I want uh, to adjust. I'll just do this quick and sloppy for the video. Now, if you've gotten done painting and you want to see what you've done, what your mask looks like. There's this little uh, eye icon up here. It says show mask. So there, there's my mask. Toggle that off. And now what I want to do is work on the shadows. And so with that mask done, so I'll just crank it up so you guys can see it. But what I want to do is bring some detail into, into those rocks. So I think that's at a good spot. Now, uh, as I look at this image, I see a dust spot right up here that I want to take care of. So I'm going to go up to my erase tool and the system is going to load the erase. And really what erase is, it's a content aware fill. Um, I did another video on erase, erasing content. <coughs> Excuse me. And all you need to do is paint over the spot that you want erased or filled, click done, and boom, we will get returned back to the edit module of Luminar 3. Well, I don't know why this is, a, my system's a bit pokey today. So great, I've got the shadows done, I've got the sky done. Now I want to work a little bit on color. And so what I'll do is add another adjustment layer and the color that I want to work on is in the sky and a little bit in the foreground so this cloud has some color this will have some nice color boom 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 boom, boom. let me work on that let me work a little bit out here and I make my brush a little bit bigger and you can actually change the opacity of the brush if you want as you're doing this um, but now what I want to do is bring a little uh, bring a little pink into it. So I'll just kind of change the tint and I'll crank it up so you can see where I painted. It looks pretty horrible, doesn't it? I just really want to add just just a little bit of pink into this. Just enough. Um, now the cool thing that you can do, let's say you get this at the right tint that you want still maybe a little harsh you can come back in and adjust the tint if you want or you can adjust the opacity of a layer from zero up to a hundred percent and really kind of fine-tune your adjustment with that opacity so 
really quick, quick tutorial into working with layers. Uh, let me add, actually, let me add another layer just for fun. And I will show you, um, let's go back to professional. Let's say I want to do contrast, crank it up. Ooh, I don't like the way that looks. Uh, it sucks. Um, I can either zero this out and leave that layer uh, with no adjustment to it, or I can hit the minus key up here and the layer will disappear. Last thing to show you real quick is this icon right up here. This will, so I've done four layers so far, three, three layers and one adjustment, uh, one erasure layer. If I hold down that button, that takes me back to the original unedit, unedited image. So that was before and this is after. Before, after. The other kind of cool feature is this before and after with a slider bar. So you can move this left or right and you can see all your adjustments. And just click that. So there you go, quick and easy, um, layers, powerful way to build up your edits um, of your image. So I encourage you guys to explore the layers functionality as much as you can. Um, let me know anything you learned down below if you want in comments. Anything else you want to see, leave me a comment. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a great day and stay tuned for more videos.